Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna to be doing one of the cheapest, easiest guitar tone mods you can do. I've got this late 1950s Gibson GA5 Skylark here. It's basically a Fender Champ at half the cost and it's not sounding quite right. It's a little distorted and it doesn't have much headroom. So we're gonna be replacing the original Jensen speaker with this Weber Classic Alnico and I'll walk you guys through the whole process and we'll see how it sounds. Uh, but first I wanna make a couple announcements. Uh, my third single is about to drop this Friday, April 28th. If you wanna go uh, follow us on Spotify or anywhere you stream music, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you go check it out as well as the other songs that we've got. Um, also, if you're in the Dallas area, I'm going to be playing the Dallas International Guitar Festival on May 5th, Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and check out this Gibson GA5. All right, let's take a listen to how this amp sounds currently with the original Silver Jensen in there. It's still pretty cool. I think it's just a little distorted and I think the speaker's a little bit tired. Maybe the Weber Alnico will sound better, but maybe not. Today we're gonna to find out, it's an easy swap. So here's the amp on about five on the volume. So, I mean, it sounds like, you know, 50s or 60s rock and roll. Uh, we'll find out if the Weber helps at all. To me, it's just a little distorted, kind of coming in and out. Um, and I know the, the tubes are original, uh, but some of the capacitors have been replaced and it does have a three prong cable, but I'll get in there and show you guys how to replace it and we'll see how it sounds. All right, the first step is to go ahead and remove both of these back plates. We've got six screws total. All right, now we have access to the speaker inside. You can see the original Jensen, and to me that does look like the original cone, but we're gonna get in there and find out. We've got four nuts to remove here on the speaker frame. Had to go ahead and remove this original RCA 5Y3 to uh, get the speaker out, but it's really in beautiful condition and still working pretty amazing after all this time. So I thought I was gonna get off easy here, but the speaker will not come out because of the power transformer location. So the entire chassis will have to be removed, but it's really easy. We just got two screws here and I can show you guys inside. All right, so here's the chassis. We've got the very desirable Bumblebee capacitors in there, original uh, pot, looks really solid. And then we've got uh, the original transformers here with the RCA uh, 5Y3, Sylvania, I believe that's a 6V6. And then we've got a RCA 12AX7, so really nice set of tubes in there. All right, just a bit of wiring off camera. Now our speaker is ready to go, and we can reverse the process, put everything back in place. Just as a precaution, guys, don't go touching anything inside of an old tube amp, it can really hurt you, it can even kill you, these capacitors, uh, especially if it's been recently used. So uh, be very careful, guys. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and put all this back in place and we'll hear how it sounds.
you enjoyed it i wasn't really sure after playing it again whether or not i should swap that original jensen speaker but after hearing the recording back i think i made the right decision the weber really i think brought the amp to life uh it's not that it sounded bad before but it would occasionally make cracks and pops and um sound distorted and so now it's it's full sounding and, and ready for recording, which is what I bought it for. And now the original Jensen speaker can, you know, be kept away for safekeeping. Uh, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the sound with the new speaker in place. Uh, this is something I like to do on my vintage amplifiers. I'll put new Jensen's in them or sometimes JBL's. Uh, I like the new Jensen Neo speakers or the uh, C10Qs in my Super Reverbs, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, like I said, please uh, check out the new single this Friday. It's called Are We All The Same? And it's probably one of the heavier tracks off the album, um, but uh, we worked really hard on it and we're really proud of it. So uh, if you guys would check it out this weekend, uh, as well as the other songs we have, up on Spotify or iTunes or wherever you listen to music, we would uh, truly appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna be just releasing a new song every uh, few weeks here until the final album release, which is coming very soon. And if you're in Dallas, May 5th, would hope to see you at the International Guitar Festival or May 13th in Tulsa. Um, you can find more information on those shows uh, at my website, it's matthewscott.org. You can check it out. Um, and I uh, hope to see you guys out there. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>